Hi everybody, Big Bong here and this video is dedicated to Ukrainian people and families who are suffering from the war. I'll be learning basic expressions in the Ukrainian language and if you want to financially support the cause, you can do that by clicking on the donation link right next to this video. The whole amount would be automatically sent to the International Rescue Committee. This organization has a long history of providing resources to refugees fleeing countries facing humanitarian crisis. You can also make donations through their website. They accept any amount, but just to give you an idea, a monthly donation of $108 will provide eight families with temporary shelter. Now it's the first time I'll be actively studying Ukrainian and there's so many languages I'd like to learn if only I could stop time but it's better late than never. So I'm on Omniglot.com. It's not the first time I visit this website. It's my go-to when I want to learn basic expressions in a new language. Look, look at all the languages. It's crazy. You can discover many things about all the languages, including their history, and find plenty of resources to learn more. But what I find very important is that you can listen to the expressions instead of guessing how it's pronounced by just reading them. So if you're a language enthusiast like me, what you can do is to repeat along so that you'll have something to say next time you meet a Ukrainian person. And if you are a Ukrainian yourself, let me know in the comment section how I can improve myself and especially my pronunciation. Okay, so I've studied the Cyrillic alphabet a while back. I remember most of the letters. Um, on this website, you'll see the transcription in Latin alphabet. Don't get me wrong, it's very helpful, but I believe it's not the best because you might get some letters wrong and it's also necessary if you want to spell something. Enough talking, let's study. All right, so they suggest we start with welcome. What a nice way to start. Laskavo prosimo. Laskavo prosimo. Laskavo prosimo. Laskavo prosimo. Laskavo prosimo. <laughs> well, he rolls his R. Prossimo. I don't know if I'm supposed to roll or if I can do it without the rolling. Lascavo prossimo. Lascavo prossimo. Vita e moi. Oh, okay. Again? Vita e moi. Vita e moi. Vita e moi. Vita e moi. That's welcome. Welcome. Okay, uh, before that, actually, how do we say Ukrainian? I'm going to need Google Translate for that. Ukrainska. Ukrainska. Ukrainian is Ukrainska. Then uh, we have hello. General greeting. Vitaio. 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 Aho. Oh, interesting. Aho. Aho. That sounds very similar to um, Czech and Slovakian. Ahoy. Aho. Aho. I don't know who's the guy who recorded that, but he uh, he sounds a bit scary. <laughs> Aho. Now, saying hello on the phone. Oh my god, this is just like French with a Ukrainian accent. Hello. Sluchaju. 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 Okay, so there are two. Am I supposed to choose one or it depends on the context? Or can I actually uh, use both at the same time? Hello, Sluchayu. <laughs> now, how are you? Okay, that's a bit longer, and I see that there is no recording for that, so I'm gonna need Google Translate. Yak ty pozhavayesh. So this is apparently informal. Yak ty pozhavayesh. And in formal, that becomes. Yak vy pozhavayete. Yak vy pozhavayete. Actually, it's a question. Am I supposed to go up at the end? Yak vy pozhavayete. Or is it weird? Oh, actually, there's another one. So I assume that's also informal because there's nothing. And the E sounds like a Okay, if someone can explain the proper pronunciation in the comments, uh, I'll be very grateful. <laughs> Here, same thing again. So I don't know if it's Google Translate, but it doesn't go up at the end. And for me, it's weird. In a question... Oh, wait, hold on. How, do, how would I say in English? How are you? Oh no, actually in English it doesn't go up either. How are you? How are you? Yeah, I guess it's the same. Then we have how to reply to how are you. Дякую, добре. А ви? Дякую, добре. А ви? And now, from what I understand, а ви is formal, so if I want to make it informal, that would be а ты. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So, long time no see. Давно не бачились. Oh man, this is too fast. Давно не бачились. Давно не бачились. Okay, I'm putting intonations there. It might not sound natural. What's your name? So if I understand correctly, the first one is informal singular. Uh, and if it becomes informal plural, it's the same as formal. My name is... My name is... Big bomb. How am I doing? <laughs> Where are you from? Zvitkivy. 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 I am from... Oh, and then I'll need to learn France then. Or, yeah, I'll need to learn France or Canada. Yes, France ta Canada. Yes, France ta Canada. Yes, France ta Canada. Canada. Yes, Canada. Yes, France. Yes, Canada. Canada. Yes, Canada. 
Next we have Pleased to Meet You. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Pleased to meet you. It looks long, so I would say it's pretty old-fashioned. Correct me if I'm wrong. Приємно познайомитись. Приємно. Приємно познайомитись. Приємно познайомитись. So uh, one thing I'm not sure, it ends with S and Ya, yeah, but it doesn't sound like that. It's not познайомитись Ya. Yeah. Познайомитись Ya. Yeah. Приємно познайомитись. Приємно познайомитись. All right, I'm just repeating what I hear. Приємно познайомитись. Good morning. Доброго ранку. Доброго ранку. Доброго ранку. Доброго. Доброго ранку. It's like a go. Доброго ранку. Good afternoon. Доброго дня. Oh, okay. Hold on. Доброго дня. Дня. Доброго дня. Доброго дня. Доброго дня. Доброго дня. And now good evening. Доброго вечора. Доброго вечора. Okay. This one is easier to pronounce to me at least. Доброго вечора. Доброго вечора. Okay, so the доброго it comes really shortened in this case. Доброго вечора. Доброго вечора. And good night. Good night and sweet dreams. На добраніч. На добраніч. На добраніч. На добраніч. Goodbye. All right, so I guess this is going to be the last one for uh, this session. До побачення. До побачення. До побачення. До побачення. All right, let's just learn good luck for fun. Щастивом. 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 Okay, so I see щастивом and I see another one, Toby. Who's Toby? Щасти тобі. Щасти тобі. Щасти тобі. Щасти тобі. Нехай щастить. Нехай щастить. It's the, the soft letter that I can't seem to, uh, to understand. Нехай щастить. <laughs> oh my God. This one is tricky. I'm gonna need a bit of time to get used to that one. На все добре. 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 Oh yeah. I don't know that the nuances between all these expressions, but if I have to choose one, it's probably gonna be uh, the last one. На все добре. На все добре. <laughs> На все добре. Okay, give me some time to process all that. I'm probably gonna have to make some uh, flashcards. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're a Ukrainian, please let me know in the comments how I can improve myself. And for everybody else, uh, please, please don't forget the donation button. They do make a difference. I'll see you very soon for more videos. Bye.